I'll just give the viewers a quick look at this homebrew uh, unit we found here. Uh, evidently it had a, a CB on one side, a Mecca car stereo on the other side, AM FM cassette thing, dial in the door. Um, what's unique about this thing though is they actually gave you a service panel to get under the cassette a unit in there maybe to clean the heads I don't think you can get to the belt from there and they were, uh, I thought this may have been a power booster equalizer here but this was a uh, this was a CB radio as evidenced by the mic clip that was over here on the side so we'll we'll harvest this for whatever uh, we had a, a pair of base 48 speakers here and I uh, now I understand why they were called base 48s is because they were dual impedance 4 ohm 8 ohm but there are some mistakes here if you look at this one the common is the middle 4 ohm 8 ohm but they haven't hooked up across the both of them I don't know if that gives 16 ohms or not but uh, that's uh, this should be either in the center and use either side of it and they have a tweeter hooked up here configuration but the capacitor is across the across the speaker it should be in series with should be in series with one of the leads not across the terminals if there was a third terminal and you could jump to it to the speaker fine but this is just simply across the speaker so I had the right idea here we're just gonna harvest this for uh, what's usable and uh, toss the rest in the scrap pile but it was a, a unique uh, setup here I had a little uh, a little wood build-up backing here to hold your uh, your shaft stereo in. So that's it for the Mecca Home Brew Hi-Fi CB Car Stereo. So here we have our complete uh, 1970. Oh, I'd give this a late 70s, 78 or 9 Mecca AM/FM tape player with your base 48 dual impedance speakers and one uh, attempt at a tweeter and it also has the under dash mount thanks for watching now also included in uh, the pile of junk was the uh, 1973 Juliet multi-band ACDC AM police band weather VHF MB shortwave FM with AFC uh, I found a newspaper ad that shows this is 1973, and it does get some focus here. Juliet uh, was made, the OEM for Juliet, I guess, was Top Electronic Electronics Manufacturing. Try to peel this tape off here. I think what we'll do with this radio is tr attempt to uh, use it to. Uh, run some alignments on and they do give you a not so much a schematic but they tell you which transistors are what according to the J E D E C transistor replacement and that's the uh, Japanese equivalent to our 2N system the 2SC oh they do have two N's here which is pretty funny 2N3565, the AF driver, two power outputs. And they give you test points for FM, VHF, RF input, RF input, IF out input, IF output, and the detector output right here. Like I say, it's in pretty sad shape, but for what it is, maybe we can uh, do some testing on this. Again, that's the Juliet model MPR 3345A from 1973.